It's been a while since I turned on the camera. And I'll have to admit, the only reason I turned it on right now is that uh, I've got nobody to talk to on the phone. <laughs> and I just feel like I need to talk. <sighs> so are you interested? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> so what's going on? I just spent the last couple of days at the peak of a frenzy of work. And, uh... I, um, I just sort of finished. I, I've been producing greeting cards, and, um, and I have this one shop that said they would buy some if I came up with, you know, more designs, because I needed to buy a bunch at once. And, um, so I just sort of pushed myself to, I had a self-imposed number, a self-imposed deadline, but I kind of wanted to get to it before Christmas, and the whole Christmas season got by me. So I just went to the store today with all my designs and I did make a sale, pretty decent sale for somebody just starting out. But I gotta tell you, it feels very anticlimactic right now because when you're doing greeting cards, selling to one store is no big, like it's just you have to chip little, little bits off of the total of cards I have to order in order to uh, make it worth my while to even make the cards. So. This evening, my husband and I are going to a yoga class, and it's a Bikram yoga class, which is a type of yoga that is performed in a very hot room, and I have not done this since before I was, it was after my cancer diagnosis, but before my treatment began, so it's over a year ago. There's something about sweating that much that you just end up feeling really good. I like sweating. Millie would like it too if she knew how. <laughs> I should say it's November. No, it's December. It's December. I think it's uh, the 4th of December. different here every day and this is a good example of it. That all that white is just fog. So funny. <laughs> we're cracking each other up here because we are trying to go Christmas shopping and we're totally failing. We're trying to buy presents for others and we're not finding a single thing. <laughs> but. but we found some very nice stuff for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that's one of the places we were thinking about going. Yeah. We'd make a quick stop in there. One of the problem yeah. is that we just don't have much time. Yeah. So we were joking about Christmas morning, you know, sitting down in front of everyone and saying, Well, <laughs> how did you put it? Just very straightforward. We went, we went shopping six times. And just couldn't find anything for you guys. <laughs> but <laughs> we but look found what... some great stuff for ourselves. Look. <laughs> oh, and don't you think this color is nice on me? And oh, I got such a bargain on this thing. <laughs> I'm just picturing this whole scene. Christmas morning, everyone's sitting there with their slack jawed expressions as we show them all the things we bought ourselves. And at the end, when we put everything down, we're like, yes, ah, oh, Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh. A few days ago, it was foggy. Today, it's unbelievably glassy clear the way the water is reflecting the life of this lake. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's fun to walk your dog in the same place every day when you have such variety. Um, around this time last year I had my mastectomy and uh, which was followed by a couple months recovering from that and then 
surgery, I mean not surgery, and then chemo, and then radiation, and uh, um, it's, you know, strange to think all of that actually happened, because <laughs> I, I feel well, I feel fine, but I look back, and I mean my fingernails haven't quite grown back yet, and I look at them and I'm like, holy crap, I took drugs that made my fingernails lift off from their nail beds, like separate from my skin, and just about fall off. They didn't, that did not happen, but it does happen to some people. And it's, they stink too. I mean, just like I would move my hand near my face and I would smell this horrible smell. And like, it's such a strange feeling to look back and think, I, I was given a drug that made that happen. And it was pretty scary to think about going into that. And, uh, you know, that's really just the tip of the iceberg about what felt bad about it. Um, so now, having it all behind me, I have this strange fear. I mean, I guess it's not strange at all. I have this fear that I'm going to have a recurrence and I'm going to have to go through it all again. Those berries are unbelievably, the color, unbelievably, unbelievable. The color of red, I don't know if it translates in video, but in real life, the color is pretty, pretty cool. <sighs> I think you know where I'm going with this. <sighs> it's like I'm walking forward in my life, but every now and then I stumble <laughs> emotionally because of the weight of the worry of this coming back. And I have to admit to you, lately I've been stumbling a lot. And what does that look like? What does that look like in practical terms? For me, that looks like uh, eating way too much junk food. <laughs> it's, you know, there's this feeling like it's life or death. Like, the, all my choices, like, there's this, like, it, everyone's different. I'm not saying that everyone feel, goes through this the same way. This just happens to be an area that I struggle with anyway. And, um, but what happens for me is that I find myself thinking, uh, it's, you know, having perfect nutrition is what's going to keep me from having a recurrence. And then on the flip side of that coin, I, I feel like it doesn't matter what I do, there's going to be a recurrence. And it's all feelings. It's not based on anything, you know, truly scientific, though, you know, there's some evidence that actually being healthy is a good idea. <laughs> and that what you eat matters, but, um, um, uh, but the overwhelming feeling is just, I'm afraid it's going to come back, and I'm not sure that I have any control or power, and, uh, it's scary, and so why not have some ice cream? <laughs> so that's my fight right now, is that I, I don't, and I, I'm not, it's not a really about like worrying about getting fat, though that, uh, you know, it's nice to have my clothes fit and everything. <laughs> Rather not. Um, and it's not really about like, oh, I need to be good. And and it's not really about, oh, this is what's going to prevent cancer. It's just like, I, I don't feel as well when I'm eating crappy. And I would like to feel good. I'd like to feel as good as possible for as long as possible in my life. And so, therefore... I would like to not be so freaking scared that um, I can't um, say no to junk food. Just say no to junk food, Millie. Okay? She's like, whatever. Why well, you feed me his kibble anyway? My dog is in the woods searching for her tennis ball. When she can't find it, she sometimes looks over at me like, did you get it? And like right now she's doing that. I don't have it. So the other day I was talking about food struggles. Ha ha ha, she's back, she's got her ball. Yay. Which I then, after getting that off my chest, I went home and uh, I basically emptied the refrigerator of produce and chopped everything. Some stuff went into a salad, some stuff went into a soup, some stuff I just chopped um, for future reference. <laughs> I 
took a lot of broccoli. I thought, oh, this will be good to steam or put in a stir fry. And I ended up putting some of it in the soup when I reheated it, so I'd have like nice fresh greens in there. And now life is better because when I want to eat something, I can, and I'm on the on the go, I can just grab something already made. And it's really good. And I do, I knew that already. I just sometimes, uh, sometimes you just have to kind of. Remember. <laughs> anyway, things are better now. I love how she attacks the tennis ball like it's trying to escape. You got it. She's a hunter. <laughs> Alright, time to head home. We got work to do.